army officers in Burkina Faso have announced the overthrow of military leader Paul Henry Damiba. There's been a revolution in the West African nation of Burkina Faso. Islamic extremism is on the rise in West Africa. On January 20th, 2023, a military group led by Captain Ibrahim Tayare staged a coup at the state capital of Ouagadougou in Burkina Faso. After a successful coup attempt, he appeared on national TV and proclaimed himself the president of the nation. The military leaders had overthrown their own lieutenant turned president and promised to tackle the volatile security situation. He demanded the departure of French troops who were aiding in the fight against Islamist militants, giving them one month to withdraw their troops and leave the country. France has maintained both permanent and temporary military installations in West Africa. Across this region, the French have had more than 5,000 troops, including drones, combat aircraft, helicopters, armored vehicles, logistics, both tactical and strategic. So how did this 36-year-old guy, Ibrahim Traore, become the president of the transition government of Burkina Faso? Why did he expel French troops after the country's long-standing history with France? Burkina Faso has had a long history with coups, dating back to the 1960s. In the 1960s, Burkina Faso gained independence from France after French presence in Burkina Faso during colonialism in 1904, when the French formally proclaimed the territory as Upper Volta, integrating it into French West Africa. In 1966, Maurice Yamoergo is ousted in a military coup led by Sangol Lamezana, who becomes president. In 1980, Lamezana is overthrown in a coup led by Colonel Saye Zebo. And in 1982, Zebo is ousted in a coup led by Jean Petit Ogiago. And in 1983, Ogiago is overthrown in a coup led by Thomas Sankara, who then becomes president. In 2022, the West African nation experienced another military coup led by this guy, Lieutenant Colonel Paul Henry Damiba, that ousted President Rock Mark Christian Kabore, citing failure to address jihadist insurgency. A decision that would paradoxically contribute to Damiba's eventual downfall, Damiba elevated Ibrahim Traore to the position of artillery chief within the Kaya regiment located in the central part of the country. Since 2015, Burkina Faso has been caught up in an escalating wave of violence attributed to rebel fighters allied to both Al-Qaeda and the ISIL ISIS group in jihadists. African nations have a growing problem. Countries across the continent are facing attacks by Islamist-inspired insurgencies. According to reports, the violence has claimed many lives and forced 1.9 million people to flee their homes. Due to the insurgencies in the country, Burkina Faso only controls about 60% of the country and the remaining territory is outside state control. Despite having more than 40% of the population living below poverty line, Burkina Faso is known for its mineral resources, especially gold. It is the fourth largest gold producer in Africa and the third largest site for gold exploration on the continent. In 2021, gold accounted for 79% of Burkina Faso's exports. The country also produced cotton, zinc, copper, manganese, phosphates and limestones. You can see a link of violent extremists and the country's gold mines as shown here. A coup that would go on to define the future of Burkina Faso took place on August 4th, 1983. A group of soldiers loyal to Thomas Sankara, led by his close friend Blaise Campriore, staged a coup d'etat. This coup was supported by some segments of the population who were dissatisfied with the government and inspired by Thomas Sankara's ideas. The coup successfully overthrew the previous regime of Jean-Baptiste Ogiago and installed Sankara as the president of the newly renamed Burkina Faso. In 1987, Blaise Compiore, Sankara's close friend, staged a coup that assassinated his longtime friend Sankara. Blaise Compiore would go on to rule Burkina Faso for 27 years. During Compiore's rule, Burkina Faso underwent significant economic reforms, including the privatization of other state-owned companies. During his presidency in 2014, Widespread protests broke out because of his plan to extend presidential term limits. The protests called for his resignation. Blaise Compare fled the country, bringing an end to his 27-year rule. 
President Blaise Compaore has resigned, a day after the opposition called supporters onto the streets in an attempt to remove him from power. While this was happening, a young Ibrahim Chayore had been enlisted in the artillery regiment based in Kaya, Burkina Faso, and had been promoted to lieutenant in the military and he was later deployed in the anti-aircraft training in Morocco. This guy, Honorek Traore, succeeded Blaise Compaore, and this guy, Isaac Zida, became interim head of state on November 1st, 2014, and later prime minister on September 23rd, 2015. He was later succeeded by Michel Cafando on September 23rd, 2015, who was then succeeded by this guy, Gilbert Diadere. He was a longtime aide to President Blaise Compaore, serving as commander of the Regiment Presidential Security, RSP, during Compaore's rule. Rock Mark Christian Kabare became president of Burkina Faso in 2015. In January 2022, soldiers' mutiny, demanding better conditions and removal of army leadership, eventually ousted President Rock Mark Christian Kabare, led by Lieutenant Colonel Paul Henry Damiba. In Burkina Faso, President Rock Kabore has been forced to stand down. We'll bring you all. Ibrahim Traore was sent to Mali where he gained experience fighting jihadists and ethnic conflicts led by insurgents and attacks by militants in the northern Timbuktu region. He was part of the Operation Otopuano in Burkina Faso's restive east. For seven months, the operation resulted in temporary withdrawal by militants from the region. He was part of a detachment in the northern Sahel region against jihadist groups. Burkina Faso is located here in the Sahel region. The Sahel region is a transitional belt of land in Africa that stretches across the continent from the Atlantic Ocean in the west to the Red Sea in the east. It spans approximately 5,400 kilometers, about 3,360 miles. Burkina Faso borders six countries, north and west of Mali, north east of Niger, south east of Benin, and south of Togo and Ghana, and southwest of Ivory Coast. Mali, Niger, and Burkina Faso announced they will withdraw from the Economic Community of West African States, ECOWAS, and the military leaders stated they will not be holding elections to reinstate civilian governments. West African nations Niger, Mali, and Burkina Faso have announced they are leaving the regional economic bloc ECOWAS. Their military rulers issued a joint statement live on television calling the bloc's sanctions against them inhumane. ECOWAS shut down both land and air borders and established a no-fly zone for commercial flights and suspended financial transactions and froze assets held by these countries in ECOWAS central banks. The Economic Community of West African States, ECOWAS, is a regional political and economic union of 15 countries located in West Africa, established in 1975. These West African countries, mostly former British and French colonies, gained independence around the same time. They shared similar economic structures and faced similar challenges due to their history. The region has experienced seven military coups over two years, including in Sudan, Chad, Gabon, and Guinea. The long-standing jihadist insurgency in Mali, starting in 2012, spilled over into Burkina Faso's northern regions. At least 29 people, including several foreigners, were killed in an Al-Qaeda attack on top of a hotel in Burkina Faso. This is where jihadists first opened fire, killing scores of people. More than 24 hours after the attack, residents in Ouagadougou say they're still under the shock. An unprecedented strike in the capital, illustrating the expanding reach of regional insurgency groups. The following images show swarms of fighters riding on motorcycles and others on trucks approaching the northern Burkina Faso town of Jibo. In 2018 and 2019, the Trump administration funded a total of 100 million US dollars in security cooperation, equal to about two thirds of Burkina Faso's 2016 defense budget, making it one of the largest recipients of US security aid in West Africa. Ibrahim Traore discussed possible military cooperation with the Russian delegation and the country received about 25,000 tons of free wheat from Russia. Russia reopened its embassy in Burkina Faso, which had been closed since the collapse of the Soviet Union in the 90s. Ibrahim Traore says his goal is to secure peace in the country. The country received a shipment of new military equipment from China, including armored vehicles, self-propelled motors, and various weapons and ammunition. Last August, Burkina Faso's army received a shipment of Emirati-made MRP vehicles. On June 2023, 
Burkina Faso signed a contract with Egypt's Keda factory for a number of FAHD Ahmed personal carriers. And in January 2023, Turkey delivered the first batch of four Ahmed fighting vehicles to Burkina Faso's army. According to the US Developmental Agency, USAID, Burkina Faso also has one of the highest electricity costs in Africa. Russia is said to be building a nuclear plant to meet Burkina Faso's energy needs through its energy company, Rosatom. Burkina Faso is one of the least electrified countries globally, with about 21% of people connected to power. Burkina Faso also imports about 17% of its electricity and relies on hydro and thermal power. The military expenditure of Burkina Faso increased from 562 million US dollars in 2022 from 458 million US dollars in 2021. At least 800,000 people have already been cut off from major roadways and are effectively living under militant jihadist group sieges. Burkina Faso is a religiously diverse country, with Islam being the dominant religion. According to the latest census, 63.8% of the population adheres to Islam and around 26.3% of the population practices Christianity, with around 9% practicing African traditions. An estimated 70 languages are spoken there, which about 66 are indigenous. More is spoken by about 52.5% of the population. The official language was French, which was introduced when France colonized Burkina Faso in 1919. The country abandoned French as an official language. This map shows the ethnic groups across the country. Burkina Faso has experienced a tumultuous history marked by several military coups over the years, from the early days of independence to more recent times. The country has witnessed political instability and transitions of power through various coups. Despite these challenges, Burkina Faso remains rich in natural resources, including gold, cotton, zinc, copper and other minerals, making it a significant player in the regional economy. As the land of the honest, Burkina Faso has the potential to achieve peace and prosperity. The country has the opportunity to overcome its turbulent past and chart a new path towards success and stability for future generations.